Hello YouTubers, today, May 26, 2019, we're gonna go over some of the software aspect of the Garmin Forerunner 945. I've had a watch now for over a week and uh, I'm enjoying the watch. I'm still learning how to use the, the software aspect. I'm still learning how to um, use the uh, PC application called Garmin Connect and we're gonna go we're gonna touch bases on, on on those features today so let's get to it guys so let's get to it uh, so I have had a watch for over a week now and as you can see this is one of my one, one of my watch faces that I have installed so first of all I would like to get to the um, to the application aspect of of the Garmin watch I'll leave the watch here so that you guys can still be able to see the watch so this is the uh, this is the Garmin connect app on the phone on my iPhone this is what the app looks like here I can see my constant heart rate I'm not gonna see a heart rate you're not gonna see a heart rate number right now because I don't have the watch I'm not wearing the watch obviously let me see if I can put the watch on so in view I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to put the watch on okay I'm putting the watch on so I have the watch on now the watch is on right now let's see if it picks up a, a heart rate well I'm gonna close the app and reopen it okay it's restarting the app is restarting well i'm not sure why it's not reading a heart rate okay there it is as you can see it's now reading a it's reading a heart rate because i have the watch on the watch is on okay so the first um i have my first um on the first row of this metric shows i have a setup to show the the watch but all this metrics can be reordered they can be reordered here you can hit this button that says collapse and it'll just show you like a shrunk down a shrunk down uh, information of the same metrics but if you expand it gives you more details so there's my I have set up my heart rate as the first in the first row option steps this intensity and this pulse acclimation this Pulse accl acclimation, the Garmin Forerunner 945 has this uh, new sensor, but uh, in my case, it doesn't apply to me because I live at sea level. So there's battery power and there should be an option for sleep. How much I have had, uh, how many hours I have had of sleep, the, the sleeping metric, but it's not showing right now. So as I scroll further down, I can see yesterday's activities and if i scroll even farther down i can see last week's activities and this is where i can edit that information i can edit the information here and i can um, as i told you i have the heart rate all the way at the top uh, and and so on the other the other um uh, metrics so if i hit this this is the sync button it'll sync the watch whatever information I have um, on the watch itself or whatever uh, metrics if I just finish a workout and it hasn't transferred uh, the info if I was f far from my 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 phone it'll sync there so but if I hit if I hit that uh, if I hit that bottom there it'll take me to the settings of the phone as you can see there these are the music services uh, it is worth noting that the garm the forerunner 945 has uh what do they call it an uh, online music service such as deezer and spotify uh, i was shocked not to find apple music itunes for example because that's what i use i have an iphone and i use itunes so as you can see there i use itunes and i just it doesn't have that service so I am faced with the um, the other option that I 
I had to sync my music physically on the computer, which I'm gonna show you later on. So um, the other option is Garmin Pay. There's Garmin Pay. I set up my debit card. I set up my debit card so that it can um, uh, take payments. I haven't tried it yet. It has a, a four digit pin, but I still, I haven't tried it yet. So uh, I'm sure it works, but uh, it's more gimmicky than any other thing. I remember when I had my Apple Watch, uh, I paid probably two or three times when I walk into a, a grocery store when they where they offer the service, but um, I don't really find myself in need of using that service, but it is there. Uh, the next option is uh, activities and apps. In activities and apps, uh, just wait for it to populate because I don't recall. So let's click here where it says activities and applications and let's see what populates there. Because you gotta remember like um, in detail and the Forerunner 945 has so many options that it's very hard to to just about remember just about any any every metric that it has built in. Well here I set up, you know when you push that button, when you push this button here and you go to a workout, I have it set up so that um, walk and run and strength are my first three options. I'll show you. I'll put the phone down and that's what that is. So when I hit this button here, I have it set up in a way where you can see there, strength, walk, and run are my first three options that I have of type of workout. But if I hit, if I hit the down button once more, it'll just take me to the entire list, which is the same thing that you see here. You see like here on the watch, it begins with, it begins with clocks, bikes, navigate. So if I go on the settings on the phone, it's the same thing. So I have here clocks, bikes, and navigate, and the list goes on. So that's what that is. So I'm gonna exit there. I'm gonna exit again. And we're gonna go to appearance. Appearance is where you can set up your watch faces. So here I have set up three watch faces, which are my favorite watch faces. And here they are. This is what the watch faces. Well, they're not populating. I do not know why they're not showing. We're gonna try it again. But this is where you set up watch faces. For some reason, my watch faces are not populated. Okay, there they are now. So let's see which is the watch face that I have installed right now. Let me see. Let me exit from here. Okay, that watch face is the first one on the list here. It's, it's this watch face and it's called Rails. So those are one of my favorite what one of the three favorite watch faces that I have installed. The next one is called Kudos, and the last one in that row is called Data Lover, which uh, I contacted Mr. Peter, he's the developer there because he was giving me issues, and eventually I was able to, to fix the issues, uh, sunrise and sunset. So he told me that I had to enter the uh, latitude and longitude settings of my city, and that pretty much took care of the, the issue. These three other watch faces, I had them installed, but uh, I uninstalled them, I didn't like them. I didn't like them, not because they're, they're pretty, but because they have just too many settings that I got confused. I got confused deep into the, the settings, and so on. So rails, these are my, what my settings look like on the rails watch face. Let's wait for it to load. So um, this is what the settings, uh, this is what a typical watch face settings would look like. It takes um, a little bit of, a, you know, a, uh, inputting and configurating, but uh, eventually you get it to where you like it. Like for example, on my watch face, I have the, uh, I have the hours to show up in color green and I have the minutes to show up in color red. And you can change these settings here. These settings are set here, like for example, the hours, you can see their hours are set to green, minutes are set to red, and any other, um, I would call it complication, that's what Apple call, Apple Watch calls them complication, any other complication that you want to show there, you have the option to, whether if it's altitude, distance, steps, uh, heart rate, um, it all depends how you want to configure your, your watch face to look like. And then um, 
you know, this is where you would, um, this, are the, this is the setting where you would go on your, um, on the Garmin um, uh, phone app to configure it. In my case, it's for the Forerunner 945. Sounds and alerts. I'm still trying to learn these settings because it has two options. It has options for on, on phone notifications. There's two options. There's an option set up for during activity and there's an option set up uh, not during activities. And uh, I have tried to play around. I have tried to switch this off and on and I still can't uh, selectively choose which notifications I want to populate on my watch and which I do not. So I'm still learning that. Um, uh, I'm still learning that uh, that feature setting. So I have my notifications to display on my one, two, on my second down, uh, pressing the second down button. And this is where all my notifications are. Uh, I can exit here. And I go back to the main screen, which is my watch face. So again, I'm gonna, um, we went over phone notifications. Let's go over the other settings. I'm gonna exit there. So the other settings are activity options. Um, honestly, I do not know what activity options mean. What do they do on the, on the watch itself? But um, those settings are there. Uh, the other, the other three are activity tracking and user settings in general. So let's just deep in there. This is what activity tracking settings look like. Oh, this gives you an alert. Move alert, it gives you an alert if you have been inactive for uh, quite some time. It'll ask you to start moving and exercise. This is the, uh, the daily maximum, I mean the daily minimum steps that you should do and it's like your goal, your daily goal is set up. That's where that is set up. And the other one is user settings. That's my my um, demographics, I guess. Uh, general. Let's see what's on general. General, my Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi network. The heart rate monitor is set to automatic. I guess there's an option that you can turn it off. But it wouldn't make sense. That's what you got to watch for because it has that beautiful, wonderful center. So that's, that's a walkthrough of the, um, the phone app. And if I click here, where it's gonna show my, my demographics, but I'm, oh, I'm not gonna click there, man. That's your, your user profile. Again, if I hit this button, that's the sync button. And as you can see, my, um, my heart rate is, my heart rate uh, is constantly giving uh, an uh, output because I have it, I have the watch turned on, but I'm gonna take the watch off now because I'm gonna connect it to the uh, PC app where I sync my music. So here I'm taking the watch off. So I take the watch off, the, um, the heart rate uh, should stop at any moment. So now what I'm gonna do is that uh, I'm gonna move aside the uh, the box with the phone and I'm just gonna leave the watch. So I'm, what I'm gonna do now is that uh, I'm gonna connect to my PC. I'm gonna connect the watch so it can sync with the music. Now a problem that I was faced with, as I told you at the beginning of the, at the, beginning of the video, it was the fact that, um, the fact that I didn't have any of those two services provided, those online music subscription services. I didn't, I, I wasn't a subscriber to them when I got the watch because I use Apple Music or, or uh, iTunes. So I didn't find it, I didn't find the, uh, the purpose of why spending an additional $10 per month when um, I already have a service, which is um, Apple Music. So instead, what I decided to do was to synchronize my music directly to the, um, to the watch using my PC. So I'm going to switch the, the posters so you. We're gonna switch this over and here we go. Okay, so you can see there. So here is the, um, this is the, um, this is the PC app. So you can see I already connected my phone. My, my watch is already connected. So once I click there, it starts doing the sync process. I'm gonna get this a little closer, a little closer, just a little closer. 
I hope you guys get a, a good view there. So as you can see, I'm up to date. This is the PC version. This is the the computer version of the, um, uh, it's called Garmin Express. Since I already connected the watch, the watch is connected there. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to move the watch around. You can see the watch is connected. It's connected via the cable. So this is where I, I would sync my music. This is what I would do uh, firmware updates. This is what I would also update the maps, the maps app. So if I click here, let me scroll. If I click here on music, this is where all my music is stored on the watch itself. So what I'm what I'm doing here is that I'm syncing music, but I'm not using I am not using an online service. I'm not using an online service such as the ones provided by um, such as the ones provided by by um, the Garmin app. So I decided to sync my music. Um, I decided to sync my music directly to my watch. So I have my my uh, my playlist and they have all been synced to uh, to the watch. Now, at first, I didn't know if I was going to have an issue with uh, DRM because uh, since I subscribe to Apple Music, to iTunes on a monthly basis, those songs are not necessarily mine but i pay for a subscription so that means that uh the day i stop paying itunes uh, i do not retain any of those songs but uh, on my computer i do have songs that i have purchased so i have them both combined i have the songs that i have purchased that are mine to keep and i also have songs that are stored on the uh, itunes server uh, as part of my playlist and only but a few of those songs didn't transfer to my watch and I was amazed because um, it is great you know I get to play most most of the songs that I listen to in um, um, on my on my phone using iTunes and I mean I remember when I used to have the Apple watch I didn't I didn't have this issue at all because uh, obviously it's Apple Apple Watch is made by Apple and, and Apple iPhone is made by Apple so that wasn't an issue uh, but uh, the Garmin watch does a great the Garmin 4Runner 945 does a great job this Garmin uh, Express app it does a very great job at synchronizing most of the songs most of the music playlist and uh, it doesn't matter if you subscribe to a service such as uh, uh, iTunes it'll still synchronize the music over the um over the um you know over the uh using the app the garmin app and there is a there is a, a setting that you must do and you must tell you you must tell the um the um uh, the garmin express app that you do want to use apple music so you have to go here you have to go to the settings when you go to settings you have to go to music and you have to tell that you want you want iTunes to manage your music instead of manually iTunes. So in other words, uh, I would assume that you must have iTunes installed on 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 the computer that you're gonna be syncing the music. That is of course if you use iTunes as your music uh, provider. But uh, if you have an Android phone and and you're using other services out there, then uh, I I mean I, I I wouldn't know how to go about that. But um, here there is an option i don't know if the option picked it picked it up because because i use itunes or because um just the other services that uh, you would use are not installed on this computer that i wouldn't know you will have to play around with the system but um it does you know it does ask you uh, it does give you the options if you want itunes to manage your, your music and that's exactly what i did so again thank you again for watching this uh review on the um and the um, the software uh, uh, the software aspect of the Garmin Forerunner 945, which includes the the um, the Garmin uh, phone app for in my case for iPhone, and also the computer the PC uh, version of the uh, software, which is called Garmin Express. Thank you again, guys, and uh, have a wonderful, blessed day.